Really, are, is anybody really confused about what I'm talking about when I say men have balls? Sure, but I feel like you're breaking down way what we were talking about a long time ago mm. to men have balls. Yeah, you don't speak for all men because men have balls. Do I speak for all men when I say men have balls? You said men don't give a shit. How yeah, does yeah, that so equate to I'm men just have saying, balls? I'm saying in general, if you look I at what, like men, what, like what, men, here. what men report as being preferential, what's the fallacy? Oh, I have all my fallacies written down. We can look it up. Tell me which one, which fallacy. Let's see. Ooh, maybe it's slippery slope. So like if No, that wouldn't be the slippery slope fallacy. (laughs) You do you know the slippery slope fallacy is uh, well, thing bad Generality. is bad because yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's not that's not the slippery slope. Yeah, I don't know if it's quite straw man yet. I know you like that one a lot, though. I don't no, think it's definitely there yet. not a straw man. No, well, you get them from a variety of places. Sometimes Who's we. You got to let me answer the question before you shotgun the next one. Sure. Look in your list of fallacies and read what gish gallop means. I don't have gish gallop. Oh well, that's what you're doing. Yeah. You shotgun so many questions okay. that I can't actually answer them. You're gish galloping. Okay. You should write that fallacy down. Sure, I will. Take my course, by the way, on I fallacies. Will never take your course. <laughs> take on fallacies. Well, how would you feel if like the woman's unemployed altogether? Like, is that bad too? No, I mean, don't give a. All right. Fair enough. They don't usually care if women are unemployed. It's not a big deal to them usually. I really don't I know if that's how all men feel. I, well, <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not going to put anything in a monolith and say all. But Well, when you we sit can, here and say men don't give a Well, like, so when I say men, I am speaking in generality, but I'm not saying all. I would never say all to anything. I've never put anything in a monolith and say this always applies to everybody everywhere because okay. there's no possible way to do that. So we're saying, But, we, we, but human yeah. beings do speak in heuristics. And so okay. when I say things like, hand me all of that stuff over there, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not saying to hand me everything in the world, right? I'm just saying hand me all of whatever it is that you think it is that I want Yeah, over but there. all of these cups versus all the men in the world is a very different Yeah, but all of which cups? Saying, right? Like, <laughs> no, but like all of these cups right. or hold hand on, wait, me wait, all wait, of wait, that wait, is I'm different than all of the I'm just, men. I'm just explaining. Yeah, but like so you I'm, don't want to so be pedantic that's why I'm about the, it. But you're... the explanation of the heuristic. So I'm just saying... The explanation of my heuristic when I say all, right, and I didn't even say all, but when I say men, I'm not saying every man, I'm just saying men in general. So you would probably find this trait more common in men than not in men. Here's an, here, here, let me give you an example, okay? Men have balls. Now, that's not all men. There are some men who have no balls. You and I would agree that that is true. But when I say men have balls, is there any confusion about what I'm talking about? I can hold on. I can give a much. Well, I would like an answer to the question, though. Is it really? Are, is anybody really confused about what I'm talking about when I say men have balls? Sure, but I feel like you're breaking down way what we were talking about a long time ago. Mm-hmm. To men have balls. Yeah, you but don't that's speak for all men because men have balls. Do I speak for all men when I say men have balls? You said men don't give a shit. How yeah, does yeah, that so equate to I'm men just have saying, balls? I'm saying in general, if you look I at what, like you're men, creating like what, a men, here. what men report as being preferential, what's the fallacy? Oh, I have all my fallacies written down. We can oh. look it up. Tell me which one, which fallacy. Let's see. Ooh, maybe it's slippery slope. So like if No, that wouldn't happens. be the slippery slope fallacy. <laughs> hmm. You, do, you know, the slippery slope fallacy is... Uh, well, thing bad Generality. is bad because yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's not that's not the slippery slope. Yeah, I don't know if it's quite straw man yet. I know you like that one a lot, though. I don't no, think it's definitely there yet. not a straw man. No, not yet. We might get there though. Yeah, I'll let you know. When and you if do. you feel like I'm straw manning <laughs> you, you just ask me to steal man your position, and then okay. that way you know for Sounds sure good. that I'm not straw manning. Okay. But, yeah. So anyway, so when I so I'm clarifying the use of my language. So when I yeah. say all. I'm just speaking in generality. I'm not actually putting everything in a monolith. Okay. Okay, so I'm not saying every single man on planet Earth is supplies to. So for me, so I understand better, mm-hmm. how, how many men are you speaking for? Well, so general, just over 51% would be general, right? Okay, and how did you get those numbers? So I would look at this from the operation of reports, what men report as preferences and don't Where do you get those reports? Well, you get them from a variety of places. Sometimes Who's we? You got to let me answer the question before you shotgun the next one. Sure. Look in your list of fallacies and read what gish gallop means. I don't have gish gallop. Oh, well, that's what you're doing. Yeah. You shotgun so many questions that I can't actually answer them, you're gish galloping. Okay. You should write that fallacy down. Sure, I will. Take my course, by the way, on fallacies. I would never take your course. (laughs) (laughs) Take it on fallacies. I would never take your course. So, anyway, you get these things from a variety of places. 
Uh, one place that we get a lot of these things from is Pew Research. Pew Research dives in, especially to dating, mm -hmm. quite a bit. And we can pull these things up. So what you would be looking for for data like this, men don't give a shit about if women are working or not. You can look at the financial status of preferences that men are reporting in the, in the financial brackets of what they prefer to date, and it turns out they don't really have a ton of preferences there, but women do. So, that's, so we can kind of ascertain here in a general sense that men don't really care that much I feel like about that's women's financial. Kind of like a hasty generalization, no? No, it's not no. a hasty generalization. No. Nope. No. no. Okay. That's a literal that that's a literal explanation for why it is I'm saying what I'm saying. Be the opposite of a hasty generalization. But like A plus B doesn't equal C. Not to me, I don't think. Like that Well, no, this isn't an a, well, first of all, this isn't A plus B equals C. You're saying like the... This is... So this, I'm just telling you, all I'm doing is regurgitating data at you. That's it. From Pew Research? Mm hmm Okay, So you'd cool. find it from Pew Research, right? Cool. This particular set of data, you can find it in other places too, um, but it's not very controversial right. that men don't really date based around financial status of women, but that women do date based around financial status of men. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Great. I'm just glad, like, I didn't know men give... Like, I just wanted to make sure that... Yeah, but well, generally, they don't care that much, no. So I think we, we even granted that we're speaking in generalities here. Mm -hmm. Sure. I don't think... I even think I said I immediately after I made my statement, I'm pretty sure I said, in general, men don't really, when it comes to what they find attractive, don't really care when it comes to women's status mm -hmm. or their finances or their money. But you were asking, well, like, how do we come to this conclusion? I mean, do you, so for example, do you think it would be wrong to say women generally prefer tall men? I don't know that. Hmm. We love a short king. That's like a whole thing on Instagram. <laughs> Like, yes. Women yeah. generally don't want to be hit by a man. Hold on. I mean, that's sure, general, that's a thing, on. but that's abuse. That's like anyone wants yeah. to be hit. That's that's yeah. People don't want to be hit. <laughs> that's a, but that's the same what? general. It's the same general. Okay, concept. hold on. Hold on. <laughs> it's really not that deep. Do you, do you think that most people don't? Jai Vanik donated $200. Well, no, it's like I'm, stop, stop, stop. I became I'm, an attorney so my wife wouldn't have to worry about money. I DGAF what yeah, she makes be because I make enough. Men don't care. Priority is she's attractive, Christly, and wifely and motherly. So you can, if you're looking at this, and I can, I can see that you want to look at it logically, which is good. So if you're looking at it logically, let's do a quick logic lesson. If I say, most people don't want to get hit by a car and die, mm -hmm. do you know that? Sure. How do you know that? I mean, I would Because you're using so. intuition? Yeah. And you're using intuition. So can I use intuition to say most women probably like taller men? I just don't think that's a that's similar. Well, if everything I see is women with men taller than them, why couldn't I intuit? I don't see that though. You don't? I don't think you're looking in the right place. Are men on average taller than women? Because if they are, then on average you should see taller men <laughs> with shorter women, I, right? I really don't need to belabor this point. Like I understand I really where you're do coming need to from. Belabor okay, this if point. you want to keep yeah. belaboring it, no. I really need to belabor it. I don't. It. I've swept. I've swiped through plenty of men who lie mm -hmm. about their height. They're five nine. They're not sure. whatever. Like I don't think that. But most of the time, when you see a man with a woman, he's taller than the woman, right? I mean, I don't know most of the time. You don't know if they're taller than the woman. What does tall mean to you? Does that mean shorter than the woman, same height as the woman, or does that mean is above the woman? I don't walk down the street and count he's taller, he's shorter, he's taller, he's shorter. No, but you do walk you. through an airport. Okay, hey, that's fair. I do the walk time. through an airport. All the time. Oh. But then I, sometimes I wear okay. heels okay, and sometimes on. I don't. <laughs> Are men on average stronger than women? Uh, sure, okay. How do you know? Okay, so... Well, how do you know? So that's scientific. How do you know? Biology. I don't know. How do I know, Andrew? I'm asking you. How do you know? Um, how do you know it's scientific? Can you quote me the paper? Where are you getting that stat from? I, don't, I didn't give a stat to you. You just said. So if you can't tell me scientifically how you know that men are generally stronger than women, mm -hmm. how do you know that? Is it because you just now kind of I notice as like you look around that me. men pick up heavier shit than women do? Now it's I feel like you're strawmanning me. What's how the is strawman? Now how I is feel that like you're breaking down, Tell you what. down my argument to something yes, that was from man. before. I mean, that's exactly what it is. That's a what I wrote A straw man would be, if I'm arguing against a position you don't hold, 
you, I asked you, yeah. do you think that men on average are stronger than women? Okay, hold on one moment. Okay. Okay, so this is from Purdue.edu. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Straw man oversimplifies opponent's viewpoint and then attacks that hollow argument. Yeah, so a hollow argument would be a position you don't hold. Well, a hollow argument would be like nobody wants to get hit by a car. Obviously, nobody wants to get hit by a car. Well, That's wait, hollow how's that versus. Obvious? Because nobody. Okay. I don't like, I mean. So it's okay for me to intuit things based on observation. And it's okay for you to intuit things based on observation. I have an intuit. Somehow when I make a generalization about these things, I intuit based on observation. That's bad. But when you do it, it's okay. Well, I think you are generalizing for a, like a sex and it's something that is like, I'm trying to think how I want to say this. Because hmm, I don't think, I mean, you know, even if I want to backtrack that to say that you're right and it's wrong to make generalizations about anybody, I can make generalizations that I don't know that nobody wants yeah, to get hit by you, a car. If you say that it's wrong to make generalizations about anybody, aren't you making a generalization? then how would I... I would say that it's wrong to make generalizations as a blanket statement. That would be a generalization? No, it's not. How is it not a generalization? Because it's wrong yeah. to make generalizations. Uh-huh. But that's not general. That's not a general statement. No. That's, so would it be wrong for most people to make general statements? No. It would be wrong to make a generalization. For so anybody? for you to say most people to make a generalization, that would be a generalization. For me to say it's oh. wrong to make a generalization, that is just a generalization. Radio, and he says, suspect, white, tall, heading southbound. He's wrong? That's, I said it's wrong to make a generalization. That, that's a generalization. <laughs> that's a generalization. He's white and he's tall. That's a description. Uh, it's, a description. it's a general description. It's a generalization. A general description These are heuristics. Is not a white is a heuristic. Tall is a heuristic. Do you want to get out Webster's dictionary? Yeah, get it out. I, <laughs> bring it up. Get it out. <laughs> bring it up. Is this how you want to spend the whole podcast? Because I will sit here and If do you it. want to do pedantry, I'll do pedantry. I don't want to. Well, then if you don't want to, then just say, if you want to make general statements, that everybody can intuitively see are true, like that, well, men are taller than women, men are generally stronger than women, because we can intuit those things <laughs> as being too true generally. I can then take we don't that, have an but I won't, I won't sit here and accept men don't give a shit about a woman's uh, career. Okay. Would you accept that most don't? I just don't think that... Most being over 51% of no, men... No, I wouldn't accept that. Okay. So you, you think that over 51% of men are selecting women based on how much money they earn? No. What do you think they're selecting them on? I wouldn't know. I'm not a man. You're, so then how could you offer refutation to anything I said if you just don't know? Because I don't think that you know. <laughs> but even, even if I give you the stats? If you gave me the stats, I would believe you. That's it, though? Yeah. Okay. So then, Brian, can you pull up the stats? on whether or not men are looking for women's I would absolutely shake income. your hand and say I was wrong if you gave me the stats. Yeah, you can pull That's them up. All They're pulling need. them up right now. Sure. Men definitely do not select women based on their finances, but the other way around is true. Okay. Is Nick pulling those up? I'm yep. Does we could have done this 10 minutes ago. That's all I needed. <laughs> I mean... This, if this kind of, so the thing that's interesting is, I wouldn't think that this would be the thing you'd want to challenge because this is beyond. No, obvious. it wasn't. That's why I didn't mean to keep beyond going. Beyond obvious, but yeah, it's fine. We'll sure. pull them up. We'll pull them that's up. That's why there's like actual sugar baby sites. You know, like a lot of apps just for women to find men. There's sugar. There's sugar men. I feel too. like there's more ones for. What about like gay women, men? Though. Is that uh? How are we factoring that in? I didn't. For what? In. Um, we're talking about men and women, not oh, men and men. We were talking yeah. about sugar babies. Even okay. if we were factoring in gay men, there's well, still not the same. I see what that. I see how that's different. A very small because we're looking, of the but we're looking for women who are can like concerned with somebody's fi- finances. Yeah, we're just seeing yeah. if men generally are selecting based on finances or the fact that they want to have sex with the chick. I say that it's because they select for beauty. Sure. Not be, not money. Okay. That would be their primary reason. So are we saying for sex or for relationships? 
No, they're selecting physical characteristics, not external than physical characteristics. Meaning if you're a really hot chick who makes really a small amount of money for sex versus an ugly chick who makes a lot of money, most men will go for the attractive for chick who makes... sex or relationships. Both. Both. Those are both. 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 No. I can yes, actually both. Yeah, answer this. Not. Hold on. I think you're actually setting us up perfectly with this question. Perfect. So I'm actually prepared to say that when it comes to what Andrew's saying, that men select more when it comes to beauty, physical attractiveness... You're saying sex, casual, are you, when you say sex, are you saying like just simply casual? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would actually argue that when it comes to sex, men are far less selective, just sex. Absolutely. When it comes to looks. Mm -hmm. To get into a relationship with a man, he's going to be far more selective when it comes to looks. Mm -hmm. And other but things. But he's still going to prioritize the looks. looks in the relationship. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I over, would also... Over like, the financial status right. of but women. Which is the point. Would you think also that... Let me, let me pose a situation to you. If there was a woman, like a really beautiful woman, she was so beautiful, mm -hmm. but like way in debt, $20,000 in debt, versus a woman who is like, you know, not quite as beautiful, but like, you know, there, you, you could fuck her, you know? You, like, that's okay. You wouldn't mind. But, like, she made a lot of money, and you wouldn't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. What would you do? So if you make a prioritization, and we can say this value here, in this case, X is beauty, mm -hmm. is the thing that they're prioritizing over all other things. It doesn't mean everything else is worthless as a value add. It just means this is the primary thing. Mm -hmm. 